Hello dentists, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about pre-malignant lesion. Before we start our topic, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Okay, so we're going to talk about several things today. The, uh, this is a very interesting, I like this uh, topic very much, so I've chosen it about malignancy. It's so much interesting. Uh, so, uh, pre-malignant lesion, we're going to talk about the definition and then we're going to talk about the, the difference, talk about the difference between pre-malignant lesion and the condition. And then we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to give examples of each, okay, and then we're going to talk what is leukoplakia. Then uh, we're going to talk about the sites of the oral cancer and then uh, the, the spread of cancer. Uh, how does uh, this cancer spread and the factors that, that would affect the survival from the oral cancer okay let's start now pre-malignant lesion what is a pre-malignant lesion it is a condition it's a collection of cells from the body's organ that may look and appear to be the same as cancer cells but may not have the properties of cancer cells that allow them to break through the membranes of the organ they come from and spread uh, or metastasize, uh, metastasize to other organs. Metastasize means to spread, to spread. Okay, they normally the cancer spreads from one place to another. Okay, from one organ to another. If it's found in one place, it will have to spread all over the body. That's why it's so dangerous, uh, as we know. Okay, so let's see the sites here. We have here. This is the lateral uh, border of the tongue. Okay, lateral side. And then we have here on the cheek, okay, you can see here on the lateral border, it's a white patch, okay, or flake. It cannot be, when you rub it off, it doesn't, uh, you cannot remove it, okay. We're going to talk about the difference between pre-malignant lesion and pre-malignant condition. So a pre-malignant lesion is a lesion in which the carcinoma may develop. So it's a lesion in which the carcinoma may develop. So from, we change it from pre-malignant into carcin carcinogenic or carcinoma, okay? Uh, so this is called, it. so it is a lesion, pre-malignant lesion. But in case of pre-malignant condition, it's a condition in which there is a risk of carcinoma, a risk, there is a risk of becoming malignant, but it's not really a lesion. Uh, developing, developing within the mouth, but not necessarily in the pre-existing lesion. We're going to give examples now of each. So pre-malignant lesions are examples, uh, leukoplakia, uh, erythroplasia, uh, leukokeratosis, nicotina platina, ca uh, candidiasis, carcinoma in situ. So this is, these are examples of pre-malignant lesions. Case of pre-malignant condition, which is not a lesion, these are not lesions, oral lichen planus, Actinic keratosis, syphilis, discoid lepus erythematosus, uh, sideropenic dysphagia. Okay, so this is the difference between pre-malignant lesions and malignant conditions. It's important, this question is really important. What is leukoplakia? Leukoplakia clinically appears as a white patch. Can you see it? or plaque that cannot be characterized clinically or pathologically as any other disease and is not associated with any physical condition or agent, sorry, except the use of tobacco. So we, how do we know that this, uh, uh, this is a P, uh, an oral uh, leukoplakia? It appears as white patch or plaque, okay? So it is due to people using tobacco a lot smoke a lot okay they take uh, they smoke or take in tobacco it cannot be rubbed off this le uh, legion cannot be rubbed off just if you rub it off it will not be rubbed off okay this is how to know that this is leukoplakia this is how to test it commons clinically what are the common sites of oral cancer lateral border of the tongue floor of the mouth Retromolar area. Let's see now. This is the lateral border of the tongue. Here, this is uh, cancer, carcinoma. Okay, uh, lateral border of the tongue, floor of the mouth. This is the floor of the mouth, oral cancer. And here, this is the retromolar area. This is the retromolar triangle. 
retromolar area okay this is we call it this is also an oral cancer arrangements of legions that become malignant first okay so we're going to here to arrange uh, the legions that become malignant first okay erythroplegia erythroplegia uh, uh, speckled leukoplegia then leukoplegia okay this is the arrangement of lesion that become malignant okay uh, so this is first second and then third they will turn into what would happen from the pre that we said that pre malignant legions they are pre they are pre pre this m means that they are still not carcinoma but they will turn out they will turn by time to be key, to be carcinogenic okay so they will turn they will turn into squamous cell carcinoma so this is a squamous cell carcinoma well differentiated epithelium shows marked keratinization and minimal nuclear pleomorphism okay this is how it looks like under the microscope modes of spread this is really important direct extension into adjacent tissues so the spread will be to adjacent tissues metastasis uh, to regional lymph nodes they will go to the lymph nodes and late in the disease they may be hematogenous hematogenous spread this means they will go to the blood okay hematogenous okay firstly they will go to adjacent tissue then to the lymph nodes regional lymph nodes and then to the uh, hemat uh, then it will be a hematogenous spread Finally, we're going to talk about the factors that affect a survivor from oral cancers. Let's survive from all. Delay in treatment. Okay. Factors that affect survival from oral cancer. Delay in the treatment. Size of the tumor at the presentation. A degree of differentiation of tumor. Poorly differentiated, worse than well differentiated. Lymph node spread distant metastasis position of the tumor more posterior worse prognosis malnutrition so if you don't eat well this also will affect age worse with advancing age males have a worse prognosis compared with females okay so these are the factors that affect the survival from oral cancer uh, this so I hope that uh, today's uh, topic was interesting and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more video and wait for me for another video and have a nice time and good luck in every exam. Thanks a lot. Bye. Revise. Have a good time. Bye.